Daisy starts her day with her device connected to the internet, where she has full access. But if she finds herself without coverage, the mobile app automatically switches to offline. You may notice some of the icons are lighter now, as some features like maps and asset lookup aren't available while offline. So Daisy can start working on a task where she can see relevant details even while she's offline. She has access to the attached knowledge articles to help her troubleshoot the issue. Here she's viewing articles on common safety issues. Now she can also view details about the asset and its subcomponents, including service history, as well as upcoming work orders. Now armed with this information, Daisy can complete relevant questionnaires while offline in support of internal or regulatory documentation needs. Of course, she can both remove and consume the necessary parts accurately decrementing or adjusting inventory from her trunk stock to maintain the integrity of stock. She may also need to document any expenses or incidentals pertaining to the work order task. Note all of these actions, whether it's consuming parts, documenting questionnaires, updating attachments, um, recording expenses, all of these actions are recorded in her outbox and technicians then are notified once they're back in coverage. We don't automatically sync in case they're in a spotty area. However, we allow the technician to decide when to sync their changes.